Hi, and welcome to the Neighborhood Health Clinic self-care series. Today, what we're going to talk about is sleep and physical activity. So let's talk a little bit about sleep. Sleep is a cornerstone of health. It is actually one of the three pillars to wellness, one being sleep, two being physical activity, and three being nutrition. Today, we'll talk about two of those, sleep and physical activity, and we'll save nutrition for a session all by itself. Not getting enough sleep can have negative impacts on our health and physical health. Make sure that you're maintaining a healthy, healthy sleep schedule so that you can enjoy some of the benefits of a good night's sleep, and we'll talk about those shortly. But some of the tips to help improve your sleep are try to sleep, try to stick to a sleep schedule. Trying to get to bed at a routine time each evening and then wake up at the same time every morning. Trying to get seven to nine hours of sleep is extremely important. We know through research that getting five hours or less of sleep a night can really impact your health. Try to implement some good relaxing bedtime rituals, such as reading before you go to bed or drinking some nice relaxing non-caffeinated drinks such as herbal tea. Make sure that you get physical activity every day. You need to burn off that extra energy so that when it's time for bed, you get a more restful sleep and you can fall asleep sooner. Avoid alcohol, cigarettes, and having heavy meals in the evening because those can all impact the quality of your sleep. So let's talk about some of the benefits of good sleep. Good sleep can help boost the immune, immune system and it prevents disease. It can help you stay at a healthy weight. It can lower your risk of serious health problems. It can reduce stress and improve your mood and decrease or ward off the chances for mental illness such as depression and anxiety. It can improve your concentration and your productivity. It can also improve your relationships. You'll have more patience and you won't be so frustrated as easily and it'll help you get along with others. It can also inspire some creativity and regu regulate your metabolism. So now let's get into physical activity. So physical activity is anything that gets your body up and moving. Your body is meant to move. You have 210 bones in your body and you have 360 joints in your body. And those, those hard structures of your bones and joints are supported with muscular system with all different sizes and shapes of muscles that help those body parts move. And those body parts need to be constantly in motion in order to, to pump blood throughout your system to get nutrients to the small vessels and small cells throughout your body in order to keep all those bones and soft tissues and muscle joints healthy physical activity is crucial so what is recommended the american heart association recommends that you move at least 150 minutes a week so this can be broken down to five days a week of 30 minutes, or you can do the math, you can break it down more. Just make sure that you implement some type of activity throughout your day. Even just moving a little will improve your health. So let's talk about some tips to help you get moving and help motivate you to move. First, to start slow. You don't want to overdo it because then you'll be less likely to carry out that physical activity routine. Commit to it. Make a commitment. Maybe find a partner or find a family member, somebody that will do it with you that will help encourage you and motivate you to stay with a program. Take the stairs more often. If you work in a place where there's steps or where if you are going shopping and you're in a mall and you have the option to either take the stairs or take the elevator or the escalator, Take the stairs. Work on some gentle stretch, stretching and flexibility exercises. If you are having any problem finding an organized program or you've never really been committed to a program and you want to start safely, 
call us at the clinic. We have some help for you. We have programs that we can offer. And then one of the simple things you can do is just take a walk. Just go outside and, and, and start moving. Start slow and add to it each day. Some of the, regu the benefits of exercising, oh, there's so many, but it will increase your cardiac and your respiratory system. It strengthens your heart muscle and allows it to part, uh, pump more efficiently. It will develop more red blood cells. Your lungs get stronger. It will decrease the risk of cardiovascular disease. It can decrease the risk of diabetes type 2. It can decrease the risk of getting metabolic syndrome. And it can lower the risk of colon and breast cancer. It can also increase your metabolic rate, which, which is very beneficial in trying to maintain your weight. It can decrease your risk of falls because it will strengthen and balance your body and strengthen those muscles. There's also mental health benefits, just as we mentioned with sleep. It can lower the risk of depression and it can also lower the risk of anxiety by just improving some natural hormones that you have that can get stimulated with exercise. So really work to try and create some healthy habits. Try and identify your old habits and maybe find some triggers that stimulate some of your poor habits, such as if you find that eating unhealthily or drinking or maybe getting caught up in too much television. If there's certain cues in your day that, that cause those habits, cause you to start those habits and identify those and be mindful and aware of those and just try and replace them with something new. For instance, if you get stressed emotionally, perhaps eating is one of the old habits that you had. Replace that with perhaps going for a walk or deep breathing or just switch the type of foods that you're eating. But look to try and identify one habit a month and implement something new with, with that. Create some helpful new activities that you're going that you can do and it will add to your wellness and as i had mentioned before if you are having difficulties with any of this reach out to us at the clinic and we will get you in touch with the right classes or the right person to help you get on track help us help you we really want to work with you and make your wellness program something that's unique and and benefits you So we look forward to working with you to maintain and improve your wellness. And as I had mentioned, reach out to us at the clinic if you have any additional questions. Thank you.